Hello people, welcome back to Pharmacy Made Easy. Your body is a machine, constantly breaking things down and building up things. But what happens to all the waste left behind? Let's break down how your body cleans up as itself and why your kidneys are the ultimate detox system. So, what is excretion? Excretion is the process by which unwanted substance and metabolic wastes are eliminated from your body. Think it is like a garbage disposal. If you don't clear it out, things can get toxic fast. Where does this waste come from? During the metabolism, your cell produces tons of waste like carbon dioxide, left out nutrients and even toxins from the medicines and the bacteria. The cell trash includes undigested food, heavy metals, pathogenic bacteria and leftover drugs. If these aren't removed properly, they can damage the tissue and throw your body out of balance. And how the body gets rid of the waste. Different organs handle different kinds of waste. Digestive system removes the food residues and harmful microbes as a feces. Lung expels carbon dioxide and water vapor. Skin excretes salt, water and helps remove heat. Liver gets rid of bile pigments, toxins, heavy metals and even dead bacteria. So yes, your body has a full team working on the waste disposal. But here is the catch. All these organs can only do so much. The real champion of the excretion is still ahead. And that is the star player, your kidneys. Almost all excretory organs, the urinary system, especially the kidneys, has the highest excretory capacity. They filter your blood, fine-tune your body's water and salt balance and help maintain overall homeostasis. Without your kidneys, your internal environment would turn toxic in a matter of an hours. That's why in the conditions like chronic kidney diseases, when your kidneys stop filtering properly, we have to use a machine to do the job that is dialysis. Think of it like an artificial kidney that filters your blood and keeps you alive, but it can never match the precision and round the clock controls the health of the kidney. And this is exactly why early detection and understanding kidney function is so important. So while many organs chip in to remove the waste, the kidneys take the lead. They don't just filter, they fine tune nearly everything inside your body from the salt level to the blood pressure. But how do they actually do it? To understand that, we need to zoom out for a moment. The kidneys don't work alone. They are part of a bigger team called the renal system, also known as urinary system. This system plays a major role in removing the waste and keeping your body internal balance just right. It includes four main parts, a pair of kidneys where urine is formed, ureters, the tubes that carry the urine from the each kidney, the urinary bladder which stores urine, and the urethra, the final passage through which urine is expelled out from the body. Here is how it all works together. The kidneys first filter your blood and produces the urine. The urine travels down the ureters into the bladder where it is stored st safely. And when you are ready, the urethra takes over to release it from the body. Simple system but essential for the life. So how do the kidneys actually keep your body running smoothly? Let's break it down. Kidneys aren't just an urine producing organs, they are vital multitaskers. Their most important job is maintaining the homeostasis that is internal balance your body need to survive. Now let's see the functions of the kidney. First function of the kidney is to excretion of the waste products and the kidneys remove waste generated by the metabolism. Urea from the protein bre breakdown, uric acid from the DNA metabolism, creatinine from the muscle activity and even toxins, drugs and heavy metals from what you ingest. All of this get filtered and expelled as urine protecting your body from the harmful buildup. The second function of the kidney is water and electrolyte ba balance. Too little water, your kidneys conserve it. Too much in your body, they will get rid of the excess. They will also balance key electrolytes like sodium. Make sure your cells stay hydrated and your blood pressure stays steady. And the third function is acid base regulation. Your blood pH must stay within the tight range to prevent the acidosis and acidic shift that can be dangerous. The kidneys excrete metabolic acids like sulfuric and phosphoric acid. They are the only organs equipped to handle these acids effectively. And the next kidney function is blood cell production. Ever heard of erythropoietin? This hormone is made by your kidneys and it tells your bone marrow to make more red blood cells. 
they are also released thrombopoietin which supports the platelet production and the next kidney function is hormone production in fact kidneys acts like a mini endocrine glands releasing the hormones such as renin for the blood pressure calcitriol the active form of the vitamin d prostaglandins which help regulate kidney function and the blood flow and the other functions of the kidney is blood pressure regulation through the renin angiotensin aldosterone system the fluid volume control your kidneys play a long term role in maintaining the stable blood pressure especially during the dehydration or the blood loss and the next function is calcium balance kidney convert vitamin d into its active form calcitriol which helps absorbs calcium from the food this process supports bone health and nerve function now let's look at the structure that makes all these possible your kidneys are shaped like a beans protected by an tough outer capsule on the inner side is helium the gateway for the blood vessels nerves and the ureter internally kidneys are divided into three layers one is the outer cortex the inner medulla and the renal sinuses where urine collects before exiting and the now quick recap is from filtering your blood to balancing the hormones fluids acids and calcium kidney do it all in fact when kidney start failing you may need the dialysis a treatment that mimics their filtering ability but more on that is upcoming video if you missed our last video on how urine formation works from the filtration to the reabsorption and beyond make sure to check that out now it's the foundation for everything we have just discussed and don't forget to like subscribe and share this video to help other learn more about their health one organ at a time now let's see the kidney's internal structure and the tubules now that we understand the what kidney do let's look at how they are built because this structure supports the function first one is the outer cortex the outermost layer of the kidney is called the cortex it has an dark granular appearance because it contains thousands of renal corpuscles and convoluted tubules where much of the urine urine formation begins at intervals the cortex dips into the inner regions as an renal columns also known as columns of bertini they help divide the kidneys into the pyramid shaped segments Next one is the inner medulla. Deep inside lies the medulla, which contains tubular and the vascular structures aligned in the straight radial patterns. It is organized into eight to eighteen pyramids called medullary or Malthusian pyramids. Each pyramid has broad base facing the cortex and pointing the apex called papillae that drains urine into the structure, the minor calyx. and the next is renal sinuses the renal sinuses is a cavity that contains the renal pelvis which collects the urine before it goes to the ureter a major and a minor calyces cups like structure that drain each pyramid blood vessels lymphatic nerves fat and the connective tissue these structures all come together to form a functional highway from the nephron to the ureter now let's see the tubular structures the the uniferous tubules each kidney contains over 1 million tiny tubes called uniferous tubules they are made up of two key components nephrons and the collecting ducts nephrons are the functional units that form the urine each nephron includes a glomerulus of for the filtration and a tubule system from the selective reabsorption and the secretion the collecting ducts they carry urine from multiple nephrons towards the renal pelvis many of them converge to form the ducts of bellini which empties urine into the minor calyces through the renal papillae everything is designed with efficiency in the mind from how blood enters the kidneys how urine leaves it and when this beautiful architecture is damaged like in the chronic kidney diseases the body suffers that's why in advanced kidney failure we need an interventions like dialysis to take over those filtering tasks so now you know what the kidney do but have you ever wondered how they do it right down to the tiniest functional unit in our next video we will be diving deep into the nephron the real work horse of the renal system from the renal corpuscle to the collecting duct we'll trace exact pathway of the urine formation you will finally understand what happens at each segment and why even the smallest tubules make a big difference in your body balance don't miss it hit subscribe and turn the bell icon on because the next video is where the magic of 
filtration and reabsorption truly begins. Stay healthy, stay cheesy with Farm Simmed Easy. Follow for more.